Last year I went to Utica for the day and I brought my friend Chris Lindstrom who has a blog and a food podcast out of Rochester called Food About Town. We spent the entire day driving around Utica eating all of the classic Italian Utica foods. Tomato pie, chicken riggies, all the classics. What we noticed while we were driving around was that there was a lot of cafes, markets, restaurants, places with names from other worlds, in some cases names that we probably couldn't pronounce. We really got curious and wanted to go in, but we just didn't have time with all of the other stuff we had planned for that day. So we vowed that we would do a little research and we'd go back a year later. It's been a year. Hey man. Good morning. You hungry? Exceedingly hungry. Let's do it. <sighs> Excited. So at one point, the city of Utica was a powerhouse, especially with manufacturing. It was a textile hub of the entire world. It was a big, huge, growing city. But probably around 75 years ago or so, they really started to struggle. Um, there was a little bit of political corruption, a little bit of mafia war thing happening, and obviously the downturn of the economy and manufacturing in the United States all sort of contributed to Utica starting to struggle a bit. Mm. So probably about 40 years ago, uh, the city of Utica opened up their doors to Cambodian and Vietnamese refugees. Basically what they said was, we've got these houses, we've got these neighborhoods, they're kind of doing nothing, they're kind of poor, you guys move in, fix them up, and it ended up working great. Well, I mean, and as soon as you bring in these immigrants, you're bringing in interesting food. I mean, Cambodian Vietnamese is fantastic. Totally. So I remember last year when we were driving around and seeing all these interesting places, the more we researched over the last year, the more we realized there was tons of them. And in every neighborhood, there was something different. You saw Vietnamese, you saw Bosnian, things we don't even see in Rochester. What's the most uh, adventurous food you've had? Jeez. Um, you know, I've done done some bugs. I've done the cricket thing, which is kind of cool. Crickets are cool. Um, They're very crunchy and a little bit nutty. Yeah, a little bit crunchy. Um, uh, the most adventurous was pig's blood. Right, you had it at the, one of the, the hot pot places, right? Exactly. And I'll tell you something. I wouldn't say that I loved it. It tastes, what does it taste like? It tastes very metallic. It tastes like tastes like blood, doesn't it? it <laughs> <laughs> Dennis, I think uh, most adventurous it's like food? sea cucumber. So sea cucumber. Oh yeah, it's supposed to be really weird texturally, right? Cut it short. Yeah, cartilage. Yeah. Yeah. But I think people have loved it, so I tolerated it. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Mm. Oh, yeah, strong. <laughs> that is great.
Uh, getting ready to dive into our round steak and meatball uh, uh, thought here. This is me not knowing how to. How to this, properly, this is going well so far. How to properly ladle. <laughs> how to, how to. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, pull the chopstick. Thank you. Thank you very much. Enjoy, okay? Those are beautiful. This looks wonderful, doesn't it? It looks like nothing. Crunchy, chewy, a little bit buttery. Yeah, but all the textures. This is this is fantastic. So what? Uh, Tyrex Bakery over on Bank Place. This is this is so cool. So we've got some za'atar mena'esh, which is a flatbread with a spice rub. It's got some nuts, very herbal, it's delightful. All right, so we're at Zena's Cafe, right? Mm -hmm. I've lost track of actually where we even are. It's been a day already. This is like our sixth stop. It's, it's fantastic. No, more than six. This is stop number seven. I'm very tired. We've had a long day already, <laughs> and I'm also very full. It's really refreshing. Yeah. Yeah, it's very bright. Really nice. A lot of a lot of good flavors. Yeah. It's top-notch stuff. This was a good stop. Absolutely. Thanks, you. Thanks, Utica.
All right, so we're at Emma's. Emmys. Emmys. I keep saying Emma's, don't I? Yeah, but it's yeah, fine. The... <laughs> Emmys Global Cuisine. And it's our very last stop of the day. It is. And we came here specifically for a purple yam ice cream, and then found out that there's also a mango and a cheddar cheese ice cream. Cheddar, cheese, cheddar ice cheese is fat. I'm so fascinated to see what this I'm tastes starting, like. I'm starting with this. I think you have to. Oh. Oh my god. It definitely it tastes like a like a popcorn. Like a cheddar cheese popcorn. Wow. I would not have expected that I would have liked this. But it's amazing. It's really good. This is so what we came for. The purple yam ice cream. I love the color. I have <laughs> hey, this is a winner. I'm glad we came.